Hello, my name is Rob Gaither and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today on my channel, I'm gonna be doing something really exciting. I'm making my second tote bag today and it looks amazing. I made it out of this super nice quality, like this, it's a new denim I got. I invested in it because I've been eyeing it for a while and I wanted to get it. So I finally just bought it and it is amazing. So when I got in the mail, I was like, you know what? I need to test it out and make a tote bag. So I made one and I love how it came out. I'm not gonna show too much of it because y'all can watch that in the outro or just throughout the video. But yeah, so today I'm gonna be making that amazing tote bag. It is super big luxurious feeling high quality very much so a step up from my first tote bag that i've ever done like the first tote bag that i did has nothing on this one at all and the price will definitely reflect that um so with this bag i did a little sketch um i, I went in a different direction with this sketch i'll put the sketch on the screen so you can see um i added when i did when i designed it i thought it looked a little boring on a little flap closure because the front the little where my name tag is that's um it's a flap so you open and close that to keep the bag closed and i thought it was a little boring and plain when i was drawing it out so i added little eyelets that i wanted to do but i ended up not doing that because i felt like it was just too much it would just kind of it would just make it look a little tacky so i just left it plain and simple and i actually like how it came out so it looks amazing i went a, like i said i went a little bit of a different direction in the sketch but overall it looks exactly how i sketched it out and if you would like to watch me make this bag you can stick around to the end and watch the video through and let's get into the video all right so if you watch any of my videos before you already know what what's going on so i already have all of my pieces cut out and interfaced and fused with all of the stuff i have my lining pieces i have all of my strap connectors and everything all ready to go to sew so um i already attached that magnetic snap on there as well and then this is what is going to be the front flap closure and i've never done anything like this before this is my first time trying something like this so I'm excited, but also kind of like, oh, I don't know how it's going to turn out. But that's what makes this kind of fun because I really don't know how it's going to turn out. So this is the front piece, which has that magnetic snap right there. And then this is the back piece, which is boring and plain right now because I don't have nothing on there. What I'm actually going to do first is I'm going to start on the straps, um, the handles. So I'm going to start the handles and then the actual strap connectors. And I'm going to attach that to the front of the bag so I can kind of know placement of everything and get that all good and situated. And I'm, I'm going to do the handles for the front and the back. So that's going to be the first thing I do. And then after that, I'll probably start on the little flap closure. And yeah, but I'm excited. I already have all my bobbins loaded up. I'm going with the, you know, the natural thread color that I love to use on this type of denim. This is a new denim. Um, it's like a it's a rag and bone antique denim and it, I love the color and feel of it. It's really thick So I wanted to try it. So I was like, let's make a tote bag So I'm gonna use this color because I think it looks beautiful on this denim and I'm really excited I think it's gonna turn out amazing I love the color choice for the hardware and it's just gonna look really nice So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start on the handle. So let's get into that All right, so I finished attaching both of the handle connectors and this looks so good. Like I am so like, I know in the last video I was talking about it a lot, but I am so happy about having these rivets because it just adds such a nice look to it. And it makes it a lot more sturdier, especially in stress areas where you know the area is gonna be being pulled a lot or you know, it's gonna have a lot of stress on that area. So these rivets are just amazing. So it looks really nice on the front and the back. Loving the color combo with the gold. It's, this is gonna be a really nice bag, it really is. So what I'm gonna start now 
is I'm gonna actually start on the front little mini flat closure that's gonna be on here. And like I said, I have never done this before, uh, but I'm actually excited because it's new. So I'm gonna sew this up. So I'm gonna sew the front and back together and then attach it to the, the um, where is it at? This piece, which is going to be what it uh, goes on or whatever to open and close. I already attached the back to the magnetic snap piece. So essentially, it's gonna be, if I could close it up like this, and then it's gonna have the logo on the front of this, which is gonna be really nice. I think that this is gonna look amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start on sewing this piece together, and then I can um, attach it to this. All right, so I went ahead and finished up the flap and it looks really good. I, I'm actually really shocked at how it came out. It looks exactly pretty much how I wanted it to and then some. The only thing I will say that I would like to change um, if I do this again is the color to try to find a better color to match the gold hardware. I thought that this color would have been good, but I need something a little bit more lighter, but it's fine. It still looks really good together. And I went ahead and I added two rivets right here just to reinforce this area. Cause this area is going to get a lot of, you know, pulling and all of that. So this is just to reinforce it and it looks really nice. And I have a rivet press now, so I could do that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm actually going to take the back piece. No, this is the front piece. I'm going to take the front piece and attach the back and front together. And then really now start sewing the back together since I have all of the extra stuff done that I needed to get done on the front and back panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and start actually sewing the back together and yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I just turned the back right side out after sewing the side seams together and it looks amazing. Like, I love it. And I also just um, clipped the handles just to kind of get an idea how it's gonna look. I'm just gonna add like a rivet right there when I get ready to attach them. But I really love the look of the rivets. It just adds such a nice look to everything. Like, oh, I love this bag so much. It's coming out exactly how I wanted it to. You know, you have the little thing to open it up. To get inside and if you really didn't want that right there you can even just leave it like that i mean it may make the back hang a little bit but it's so nice i love it so much and it's gonna be a big spacious bag too like you can fit a lot in here um this is so nice and then i went ahead and added the d-rings for the strap connectors because i'm gonna do a strap as well the little side pockets on both sides you could fit quite a bit in the side pockets. But yeah, it's looking really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead, since I have all of the outside done, um, I'm gonna attach the handles last, 
but I'm gonna go ahead and start on the lining pieces and getting that all situated because the lining is not that difficult. It's really kind of simple. I'm gonna do a zipper pocket and then a little slip pocket on the inside. So nothing crazy, nothing too major. But yeah, this is looking really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the lining. I honestly um, should be able to finish this bag today, meaning that this bag took me one full day. And I've noticed lately from the last project that I did, if I cut everything out and have an interface and ready to go, it doesn't take me as long to make stuff. Cause normally what I used to do is I used to cut out like the main pieces I would use and then I would sew that together and then cut other pieces out after I sewed that piece together. So it just felt like it took so much longer to make stuff. But if I just cut everything out and have it ready to go and then sew as I go, it's way faster. So I'm probably gonna finish this bag tonight, um, but let's see how far I get. So yeah, I'm gonna start on the lining and let's get into that. All right, so I have majority of the lining done. I went ahead and added the zipper pocket. It looks really nice. Oops, just zipped some of the fabric in there. It looks really nice. Has my Made by Rovell Gator tag that I put in everything. Has my name right there. And then I added a big little slit pocket on this side. It's a really simple lining. I didn't want to do nothing too crazy. Um, just nice, simple. I was honestly thinking about adding another little slit pocket right here, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to leave it at the zipper pocket. I don't want to do too much. So I have the side panels right here. So these are the side panels. They all have the little um, denim piece at the top because I broke the lining when I made this pattern, I made this pattern a while, like months ago when I made my first tote bag. This is only my second ever tote bag that I made. And when I made the pattern, I made the lining to where it would have a um, denim panel across the top to kind of match the outside. And then same thing with all of this. So I'm gonna go ahead now and actually sew the lining together since I have the front and back piece done. And I'm gonna attach them and attach the side panels. So that's what you're gonna see next. All right, so it is now two days later since I filmed and finished the bag. Everything is done, it looks amazing. I'm also, again, filming my intro and outro on the same day, so if you see me wearing the same thing, mind your business. But this is the finished product of the bag. It looks freaking uh 
amazing i love the rivets like the rivets add such a nice detail that like it's just amazing like i literally love it it's such a nice look and then you know you open the bag up with the flap i thought it was a little bit annoying sometimes because every now and then you kind of have to try to maneuver that flap out of the way of the handle but it's really not that big of a deal. I have it stuffed right now. It's super spacious. Like the inside of this bag is huge. You know, it has a zipper pocket back here and then it has the little slip pocket right here. And when my mother saw this, she was like, this could even be used as a diaper bag because it is that big of a bag. It has the two little side pockets. So there's a little slip pocket right here. You can put like a phone or something in there and one on this side as well. So it has two slip pockets and you can take the strap off if you wanted. So like, let's say you wanted to wear your tote, um, you know, by the handles, you can take that strap off and have it off so it's not in the way. But if you wanted to, you know, wear it on your shoulder or whatever, you can put the um, strap back on. So it's just amazing. I love it so much. It's, it's a simple, clean design. And I really wanted to try something different. I've been trying to push my um, creativity a little bit in my design. So I tried a different flap closure with my name. I think it came out exactly how I wanted it to. It looks great. I'm in love with this bag. So it's amazing i love it so much and sometimes it's like i can't believe i look at the stuff that i make and i'm like i can't believe i just made that like it's honestly shocking and the more that i make stuff it's like the better i get and it's it's really mind-blowing and it's i it's crazy so if you are interested in this bag it is up and available on my website right now depending on when you're watching this video it is up and available there's only one right now i may make more actually i will make more in the future because i love this design so much i don't know what i'm gonna call it yet i want to i want to have something like a vintage feel because this is like this denim it gives me like a vintage type i don't the qual i wish you could feel it like the quality of it is so it's amazing. So when I name it, I want to do something like vintage antique. I want to go kind of in that direction. So I'll figure it out, but it'll be up on my website. It's only going to be one and I will make more in different colors and designs and things like that, of course. So you don't, if you don't get it this time, I will be having more of these because I love it. And it's amazing. I can't stop looking at it. Um, but I thank all of you guys for watching this video and sticking around to the end if you did watch. And if you do want to keep up with my business, you can follow me on my social media at Rovell's G Co. That's my Instagram. I'll have that somewhere on the screen so you can follow that. That's where I post, you know, all of my products. I post behind the scenes things on there. And if you want to follow my TikTok, that's where I post kind of more of my content you know that's a big part of my business so my tiktok is rovells that'll be somewhere on the screen as well and if you do want to shop my website it's rovellsgco.com i'll also have that on the screen or you can click the link in the description it'll take you directly to my website if you do want to buy this bag but i would say hurry because i don't know how long it's going to be available because it is one of them and yeah but if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe and bell notification so you can be notified when i upload because like i've been saying in all my videos i'm forcing myself to get back into youtube i don't know what my next video will be don't know what my next project is gonna be but for now this beautiful bag has been produced and created and available on my website so yes i love it so much I can't stop looking at it. Saying bye is always awkward, so bye. <laughs>